In this video, we're going to go over some game-changing chamber nerfs. What's going on guys? It's your host Sergeant Frost and today we have a breaking news update. It looks like Chamber is finally getting the changes he's been long deserving, as his kit gets a complete rework that will have sweeping changes for the entire Valorant meta. There's a lot to go over, so let's not waste any time and hop right into the changes. Looking back on 2022, Chamber was one of the most dominant agents in the game's meta, as he became a high tier pick and stayed that way ever since he was released at the end of last year. Well, it looks like the Riot devs have finally put their foot down with him and they are making a whole host of changes to his kit. The devs stated in their article listing the changes that the more they iterated, the more it was apparent that his current mechanics were shaping play in an unhealthy way, infringing on other agents' identities, and breaking Valorant's core tactical cycle. They explained that with this update, they want to sharpen Chamber's identity as a precision-focused sentinel that puts his body on the line to hold areas, while significantly reducing his sphere of influence and introducing more counterplay for opponents. Let's start off with his fully reworked Rendezvous ability. Chamber now places a single anchor that can be teleported to while inside its range. Radius has been increased from 15 meters to 26. They have removed teleport activation height restriction. You can now teleport to the anchor while on different verticality so long as you are within the radius. They have increased the weapon equip time after teleporting from 0.4 seconds to 0.7 seconds. Headhunter is unaffected by this change, however. Destroying the Rendezvous teleport anchor now disables it for the entirety of the round instead of placing it on a cooldown. And finally, Chamber no longer incurs an additional cooldown when recalling his anchor after teleporting. So, Chamber's Rendezvous Teleport is being reworked in concept from the ground up. Instead of this ability being two anchor points that you must place down that will allow you to teleport between them, the devs are reworking it to where there is now only one anchor. This anchor has drastically increased range still in the form of a circle, and now you can move around its designated activation area when you teleport. Now after these changes you will TP back to the original anchor point. This is a very different concept idea from his teleport as we know. But one of the biggest issues with this previous teleport was that the potential teleport distance between the two anchors was too large. This allowed Chamber to be really liberal with his anchor placement since he has the potential to teleport decently far away to safety. Welp, that is no more. You're gonna have to change how you view and use this ability now because you have to prioritize placing the anchor in a safe place so that if you need to teleport to it, you won't be in the open or in a dangerous position where the enemies could still reach you. Also, verticality restrictions are now removed, which does allow you to do some new things. Also, the destruction of an anchor now gets rid of the ability for the entire round, instead of putting it on cooldown like before. As a chamber player, you're definitely going to have to experiment and play around with different potential safe anchor points on all the maps to learn the best and most efficient ways to use the new reworked ability. Moving on, let's talk about his trademark ability. The trap is now range restricted. Trademark will disable when chamber moves out of range and reactivate once he is inside. It can now be recalled mid-round too, and it does not require a line of sight. It does have 30 seconds now on the cooldown if you do recall it. The destruction of the ability does remain permanent, however. The initial arm time has been increased from 2 seconds to 4 seconds, and the health has been increased from 1 to 20. It looks like Chamber's trademark trip is getting the Killjoy treatment. It seems as if Riot is cracking down on Sentinels with Global Trap or Automated Abilities recently, because this is the second Sentinel agent that is receiving these type of changes to their Flank Watch ability. But anyways, trademark is now going to behave similarly to Killjoy's turret and alarm bot. The ability now has a set distance that Chamber needs to be in in order for the trip to be active and online. If he leaves this area, he'll get a warning sound and a bar that shows the ability is going to go offline. This ability does not need a line of sight to operate, he just needs to be in the dedicated radius. A new feature added to the ability that is nifty is that he can now recall the ability mid-round if he wants to reposition it. The recall countdown is 30 seconds. This is a nice quality of life change to the ability that should make it more flexible considering the new nerfs it just received. If the ability is destroyed, it will stay permanent and not go on cooldown though. Some other changes to this ability is that the arm time has been increased to 4 seconds, and the ability's health has been increased from 1 to 20 to make it a bit more durable. These trip changes aren't trying to make the ability useless per se, it's just being brought in line with similar utility that is found in the Sentinel class, which is only fair in the grand balancing scheme of things for the game's meta. Now let's move on to his Tour de Force ultimate. The fire rate has been decreased by 57.5%, and the slow field duration has been decreased from 6 to 4 seconds. Considering how much his other abilities are getting changed this patch, it wasn't likely that Chamber's ult would escape again without any changes, but there are a couple. First, the rechamber time between his shots has been decreased by roughly half, as it is now down by 57%. And the slow field on kill is now being reduced once again from 6 seconds to 4 seconds. It's also worth noting that this slow field change is applied to his trademark ability as well too. It kind of hurts that Chamber's ult is being hit again considering the nerfs it already received earlier this episode, but it was bound to happen. One of Chamber's best abilities that makes him feared is his ultimate, and bringing the power level of this ability down by reducing its fire rate and slow field on kill is something that is needed in order to make this gun less oppressive and to allow more counterplay against it. Let's close out the video with his Headhunter ability. So there's an updated stability curve. The spread has been increased after the second bullet when spamming, 
This is explicitly meant to reduce low precision body shot spam as an effective combat measure. Lastly, his Headhunter ability is going to require a bit more skill to use. This change to his Headhunter is trying to tackle one specific issue that many players complained about when facing Chambers Deagle, and that is accurate spam firing. After this change, it's now a lot harder to spam fire his Headhunter and still be accurate after the second bullet. A lot of players complained about Chambers spamming shots from long distance with pinpoint accuracy, and this change will now make sure that that is no longer the case. It's now better to treat Headhunter like an actual deagle and take a moment before shooting to line up your shots, because if you shoot too quickly now, you will be a lot more inaccurate. Well, it was only a matter of time before Chamber received nerfs that would bring him down in the meta. It looks like Riot wants to go into 2023 on a clean slate, and that means having to nerf one of the most dominant agents to ever be introduced into the game so far. Well guys, that's all we have for this news update on Chamber and the 5.12 changes. If you are interested in high-level coaching, then check out our website. The link is in the description. This has been your host, Sergeant Frost, and I'll see you all again in the next one.